the forehead of your robot. It's always a question why Super Mario Logan got much darker and more adult-like. But do you know why this was the case? Well let me explain to you, why Super Mario Logan went from mild, to some of the most edgier and darker shit you can possibly imagine. It's a question that I was thinking about before, this has been like this since 2014, and just last week, I had the answer on why the web series went way more adult themed and darker. There have been dark moments in the show during the past, but it wasn't too bad, or is likely just very cartoonish at the same time. No gore, or maybe add something like ketchup like in Toad's Mistake too. Something like that, however years later, SML had a huge turn. Things get more serious and more realistic in the upcoming years. When Junior was introduced, there have been multiple darker episodes to the series. Swearing has been uncensored, there was scenes of more adult related themes, and there was a character who is a sex offender. Then we have the episode, Home Alone, where Junior wants to kill his babysitter, while he was sick in the house. What he was killing instead were robbers. Then the episode, Bowser Jr.'s Punishment, where Chef PP forces Jr. to tell Bowser that he threw a ball into his bowl. This lead Bowser to abuse Jr. and continued doing it, while Goodman tells him to stop. He eventually tries to take his own life from all the abuse he receives from Bowser. Then there is the episode, Bowser Jr.'s Lightsaber. In this episode, two of the three friends were playing, until one of them cut Cody's head off. There wasn't too much gore, but there is pink inside Cody's body. Then we move on to the Jeffy era. The Jeffy era is where things got more mature and more edgier. They introduced Jeffy, as some character that mocks disabilities. He is wearing a diaper, and gets on it. Jeffy's Parents is probably one of the darkest episodes that features Jeffy. He is seen getting abused by his mother, and is really hard to watch if you ask me. There are more realistic and darker elements to these episodes. In the episode, The Gun, Junior and Joseph finds a gun in the playground, and accidentally shoots and kills Cody with it. Joseph leaves without Junior's help, and this leads Junior to cut his hand off. Chef PP gets his hand cut off as well. It was later revealed that the person who had the gun was Winkles, the same person who was the sex offender in the earlier episodes. In the episode, The Secret Door, Mario, Rosalina and Jeffy finds a secret door in their house. When they open it, they all of a sudden find a pile of mutilated bodies covering the closet. This freaked them out, and revealed that Brooklyn T. Guy's twin was the one responsible. He tries to kill them but gets shot by Brooklyn. But do you know why this has been from mildly edgy to dark humor to something downright distasteful? That's because back in early 2014, Logan 30 Acre, who was the creator of Super Mario Logan, received lots of comments from Bowser's biggest fear, and they were saying, Make your videos more dark as possible, or, This is lame Logan, it's time to move on for something like Family Guy related humor. But then there were comments saying, Make some future episodes into something grotesque, make it dark, make it messed up as much as possible. Don't regret it Logan. The problem was the fact that this wasn't just comments from alt accounts, they weren't 10 comments, they were at least around 40 to 60 of these in each of his videos. One person threatened doxing Logan and said, he knew his address. This led Logan to be worried, and thus made his series into something more dark by adding these two episodes in. They are no longer on YouTube due to the deletion of his channel. The first episode was called, The Breakdown, where Mario drives his car to go to McDonald's. All of a sudden, he gets a flat tire. He tried to fix it, but for some reason he couldn't. He then would say the word, fuck uncensored for the very first time. The episode continues with Mario raging, because he couldn't get his car running. Hours later, and Mario dies from a heat stroke. The episode ended with Mario getting eaten by a bunch of coyotes while his body is still there. And the next episode is called, The Rock. This episode centers around Toad going to the shores to find some rock. Out of nowhere, he finds a rock. He picks up, but here's where things get dark. There was a rock that flies towards Toad's left eye, and smashed into his skull. However this isn't any rock, it infected Toad with some sort of plague-like disease. It kills him days later, which he dies a slow death. 
you could see black covering on his skin and the blisters. So now you know, why Super Mario Logan went from mildly dark, to a much more darker and adult web series. That's pretty much it to tell you, but it made sense on why Logan made it more edgier.